time. Okay, still don't know how long it is. This. It's a pretty good game so far, though. I won't argue that. Uh, close the window just so that people don't think. Hey, what, that weirdo on the. Uh, that, that weirdo's had it again. Yeah. Uh, I think the highlight of the Wolves game will be on soon. Uh, uh, I started to do punk songs using... Uh, did, did his son have a sister? Uh, yeah, I think he did. He mentioned her once. I didn't sound like they get along that well. How much chip on the skin shows a smiling face with... If she's smiling, it's about to be... It must be about money. Oh wait, that's the guy that is. Okay. Oh, cops. Oh, cops on the take so Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bug him. Yeah, we have our own uh, clubhouse and everything. As per our discussion, I'm informing you of another Ripper murder. The victim works at the NTS. B investigation facility down at the docks. You owe me for this. Uh, uh, put on my tab. You there now? Better get it here quick before Mc, uh, McCluskey arrives. Alrighty then. Another upper murder. Uh, the docks. I've got to get it. Okay, listen. I want her to help. You dragged me out of the road before. Something bad happened, worse than getting my arm torn off, and Sam was my friend. You heard, you head to the docks, and I'll see if I can track down Sam's sister, Jessica. She might be able to help us. Alright. Uh, thanks for the help. Alrighty then. Wait. Uh... So I saw. Wait, why is there a yellow? There's a yellow thing over here. Mr. Delight. Man. Uh, looks want. Is that the guy that was in the. That, that's been helping me out just in a disguise? Uh. Okay, I'm gonna go with sarcasm. Smart ass, huh? I love smart a uh, smart ass. <laughs> uh, now tell me what the hell you want so I can get on with my night. Can you send me? Uh, he glances from the sideways like you're speaking a foreign language. She sent you to me. What did she slag the run? Is that it? Why don't? You, why doesn't she tell me herself? That's a show of disrespect. She's downstairs in the men bay. Got her arm torn off on the job. Holy hell! How'd she make it back? Uh, I distract her. Yeah, but you did. Okay, tell Carrie okay, no hard feelings. I have someone else get the stones. Listen, you look uh, like the sort of man who might run a crew of uh, your own one day. Might need a little talent when that happens. You come to me. That's it. I remember that. Alrighty then. So went from annoying him because of sarcasm to yeah, because he likes me because of sarcasm. Logic. Uh, I think it can't be yes. Uh, leaving the same scene in behind, you head to the docks, the Ripper killed Sam, and maybe her, he or she slipped up with the latest victim, left someone, sending you have stole evidence, I want to find out. Okay. So, it's just the usual, don't fuck with people, get fucker. What's this? Uh, okay, yeah, she's a hooker. Yeah, 
You're about to trespass. Okay, I'm, he, he's a, he looks like a robot, so I'm going to just go with the echo. You're about to trespass. Uh, you're about to trespass on corporate property. You looking to get dusted, street scum? Security Argo called me in the drill at the killer bypass the security or if they were let in. Oh, um, of course. I'll open the gate. Argo is just inside the warehouse. Definitely no holes in our security here. Tip top shape. Tip top shape my ass. Ooh, karma. Yay! Eh, I'll save it. Time. Do I have a better idea what I need? Oh, this is... This is an interesting area. Oh, hello. Phosphor grenade. Uh, let's do that. Such a concussion grenade. Okay, come on. You might have to transition to a new location. If I didn't want to transition to a new location, it would not have clicked to transition to a new location. Good damn game. Uh, large, inside the large gray warehouse is a typical as the outside high ceilings adorned with girders and rickety catwalks. Top a huge utilitarian room. Concrete and steel walls with a concrete floor. This is a place of storing things and nothing more. Sounded like they were trying to be poetic there. Despite the quiet from the outside, the inside is a hornet's nest of lone star officers. Okay, so basically they're just they're just doing their job here. Took your sweet time, didn't you? Uh, What's happened? Welcome back. I'm just doing some uh, shadow run. Uh, you know the traffic is there. Yeah, I'll move us to the streaming channel. Alright. We can. Uh, I think we can all time out with this. Oh, okay. I, I moved you already, so okay. we're good. Uh, you know, the traffic these days, fill me in. We had time to go over the evidence while you were on the uh, route. Turns out this might not be a ripper murder after all. Left the computer on the office over there if you want to see it for yourself. I think it's a beef jerk. Alrighty. The victim works here at the NTSB warehouse is a black box researcher. National Treasury Safe Board. This warehouse is used to go over the wreckage from planes, from pla from plane crashes to determine uh, what happened. The Vic was in charge of their highest priority investigation at the moment. We've got enough victims, computer and his case notes indicate that he was selling secrets. Idiot kept records. Okay, so this might have been more of a... Oh, you're selling company secrets? Not anymore. Sort of deal. Uh, uh, selling corrupt secrets, not a wise career choice. Nope, some runner like you probably offered... Probably offed him to cover up his corpse master's involvement and tried to make it look like a ripper killing. Here's the office key. Check it out for yourself if you want. What game is this? Shadowrun. Where'd you get it? Free from uh, Epic. Oh. I think I got that game. Check. It's honestly pretty good so far. I was thinking just to make this like a one two stream sort of deal. Just to see how it is. And it's actually honestly got my interest. It's the storyline. Was Shadowrun Hong Kong? No. Well, 
if you got it, you would have had Shadow Run Returns, Hong Kong, and one other. Dragon yeah. Dragon I I looked it up. This one, Shadow Run Returns, is actually the earliest in that was free. It seems sort of like a, a dystopian science fiction world. I, I want to say with hints of post-apocalypse. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, sorry, I'm surprised to see you here. Let me guess, Officer Aguirre tipped you off. Suppose you must have made an impression on him at the market yesterday, or your credit stick did. <laughs> okay, yeah, he... We already guessed that. Grease the palm of the cop. <laughs> anyway, surprise. We've got another Ripper victim on our hands. This is good for. A... Oh god, that's morbid. Morbid. Looks like business is good for Dial a Morgue these days. <laughs> you look like you can fix them over time. Oh fuck it! I I, I got to do that. Dial a morgue. Mm, yes, indeed. The victim's male, mixed Native American descent, age thirty-eight. Based on the condition of the body, it looks like he was killed around two in the morning. Cause of death unknown. Several internal organs were removed from his body after death, quite gruesomely. I'm not sure if the killer was, uh, if the killer even knew what they wanted before they started cutting. Not much else to tell yet, really. He does have lots of pre-existing scar tissue, so he probably had a major surgery at some point in recent history. Unfortunately, with the organs gone, I can't determine the nature of the surgery. Uh, um, so, so. Uh, any idea what organ the Ripper was after this time? Well, the color definitely took the lungs. The more I look at it, though, the other missing organs might just be eviscerated within the chest cavity. A real go-getter. Argy would love. Argy uh, would love to solve it for McCluskey and get his gold detective shield. Plus, he'd uh, love to see Kluski suck it in front of this, his superiors. He's already tried to bribe me to keep information from Kluski and slip it to him. I'm inspired by his tireless pursuit of justice. <laughs> Do you have any idea how much this job pays these days, sir? I don't think Audrey's offic um, officer's salary is going to do much to seduce me into helping him. <laughs> okay, so basically Dresden is getting fucking rich off of all these killings. That's sort of suspicious, but at the same time, I'm not going to say Dresden is uh, the Ripper because he honestly seems like a good guy and money is the only clue I have towards this. It sounds like the Ripper is uh, taking a different trophy from each victim. Sam's liver, this guy's lungs, and theories. Sorry, I don't do theories. I'm just a scientist who happens to prefer dead people. However, while there was massive damage to the chest cavity, I can see that the victim's lungs were transplants, which is interesting since another victim's missing heart was also a transplant. Granted, modern medicine make organ transplants relatively easy, but in an odd coincidence. But as a scientist, it's just that, a coincidence. This is only the third body I've personally examined. One of our other branch uh, managers handled the other two. If I find uh, that more of the victims had organ transplants, I'll let you know. Uh, who's the woman over there? No clue! She just showed up! Next of kin, I think. Uh, Mikulski any getting any clips to suspect. Mikulski uh, couldn't find his ass with both hands. <laughs> okay, that's one way of saying it. <laughs> Don't, don't always set that though. I'm gonna look around. Alright. Uh, oh, okay. That's an interesting look. Uh, What's that? 
for a second there, I thought she was wearing like a full body costume with a uh, ski, uh, with a ski mask, but no, uh, she's just got white paint over her eyes, and that ain't helping her blend in with anything. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Do you know the deceased? Yes, he's my older brother. I've asked Bear to help me speak to him. Oh, okay, so she's basically a Guild Wars Nord. Uh, but, but I'm afraid his story is too disoriented by his recent journey to answer me. You're a shaman? Uh, yes, for all the good I'm doing, if I could just make contact, I might be able to deliver justice and allow my brother's spirit to rest. Were there any other witnesses? Uh, I, can I can tell you're used to shouldering a heavy burden, but maybe there's an easier way. Perhaps my brother's spirit is too weak. That's a given. Brother's spirit may not be alone there uh, he, um, here this night. Yes, there's another, another spirit who might be of help. I can't do this one. What do you need? Rest contains the spirit of a plain crash victims trapped between the worlds. They wish to help, they wish to be heard. I think they have something to say about my brother's murder. Lone Star won't let me in there, but you seem to have the run of the place. If you can find personal items that belong to the victims, I believe I can summon a spirit to speak with us. I'll need at least two such objects. Uh, I'll do what I can. Don't mind me. Her? I said, don't mind me. Oh, okay. okay. I'm gonna go up here. Oh, no, no. Let's not go there. Let's go this through this. Oh, okay. That's not an exit. That's just to another area of the map. You don't need to go right now. The old post is. Pick the swivel. Wait, what? God damn it, game! Stop that. Ah, fine, I'll. Whatever. I hate when it does that. Yeah, we're gonna give you a big line of text and you have one second to read it all. Wait, what's over here? The research work Cyber Nerd has been left on, particularly by Lone Star Investigators. There's no sign. Oh god. Uh, oh, okay, this is the black box from the planes. Uh, first private note. Uh, uh, the character probably the result of an equipment failure. Reading further into the investigators. Notes how we can find the sale. The character eventual. Ren Raku Research Initiative. Okay. Okay, and the last one's just redacted, redacted, redacted. Okay then. Uh, it's like toothbrush, uh, silver from being used. It smells of mint and cigarettes. It's like comb. Oh, okay. Uh, as you reach for the comb, they on the back of your. Hand stands on end, and when you take it off the little shelf, your heart thumps in your chest. Heart. This must be one of the items the shaman is looking for. Leave the locker. I don't want to get in that room, but I can't because the door's locked. Uh, oh, that, okay. Pile of shoes. Uh, just one of the expenses of the plane at the time of the crash. Dig through the shoes. Uh, okay, who would wear dress shoes or high heels on a plane? Let's, let's, oh, okay. Uh, must be so small. So shock. So the, okay. Uh, leave the shoe pile. And what's over here? Oh, uh, fucking Twitter post, Instagram post. Hmm. 
Okay, it's hard to... Why are you live playing? Hmm. Uh, so I'm playing, that's the only track that was taken out yet. <laughs> oh, okay! Money! Infected into the lunchbox, so you can barely make out the face of the control on the front. Earring... Of burnished steel, from the gusha. Intense primal fear, watch the reef from a touch its surface. So the only item the shaman's looking for. Okay, cool. I think I've got more than what's needed. And what was that thing that I saw? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Uh, you can feel a wind spirit within this object. You will be able to... You will only be able to come out for a moment. So I have to, I have to open the locked door from the... Oh, okay. Uh, magnetic screwdriver. Doesn't appear that there's anything here. Looked in there, looked in there. Can I open you? No, I can't. Okay, I guess it's back to the shaman. These items are all I need. I shouldn't take me long to... Oh, God. Uh, she's the victim's sister, sir. She... It's a criminal scene officer, not a... Salish drum circle. Next of kin. Uh, that's her brother. Makes her business. No, that's a corpse that makes... Okay, yeah, he is a douchebag. Get the hell out. Come on, if we stay much longer, I'm liable to do something I'd regret. Or worse, something I'd enjoy. Alrighty, then! <laughs> that man's an ass. She drinks... She says Zachary at McCluskey from across the warehouse. But it's no helping it now. I should be grateful you were able to collect these items before the Claude catered everything off. Uh, can we still summon a spirit? Not from here, I'm afraid. For it's such as these have domains to which they are anchored. We need to get back in there. Uh, I can't play the place for long. Not looking good now. I have it. Oh, okay. This looks like sort of sounds more like my character trying to ask around. Uh, we'll come back later once the, uh... Yeah, I won't try the first one. Uh, great. I expect it'll be clear by nightfall. Uh, I don't know, but... Into the bottom of this, as long as you can... Uh, it, into the... it may be a rabbit hole, but I have to get to the bottom of it. Uh, whatever reason, I thank you. Now, since we have the time, we should probably enlist some help. You may be post security overnight. I'm going to go out on and say you know where to find the kind of people we need. Uh, you can say that. Good, I'll put up the money. You find the bodies. Sheep, seeds, crucible of crumpled men from inside a leather pouch starts to cut it out and shoves a whole lot at you. Meet me here at midnight, the spirit may be stronger then. Alrighty then. Uh, Kenny looks tense, I saw any of the middle of something. Sorry, it's one thing. Uh, I hear you. I don't know if I ever told you this, but I was born in the Royal BTL. Punishers like Steve Jade and the Squad. Read my world uh, when I was growing up. Uh, sounds nasty. It was for all kinds of reasons. I have a cousin, Gino, who's been missing for months. He hit the sprawls about a year ago and immediately fell in 
with some tweakers, bad guys, I hooked him on uh, high amp dream chips and started using him for all sorts of drag. I tried to help him but he pushed me away and then he disappeared. I've been shooting up BTL labs ever since trying to find him. Guess you have a new lead. Not a lead. I know exactly where he is this time. Your old friend who eyeball who eyeballed him herself. I'm on my way. Paco's with me. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I'm going live. Alrighty. Uh, what game are you hitting up? Into the dungeon. Ah, alrighty. Uh, on the street corner. Check out the thing. Uh, okay, so this is stakeout. Just my webcam. Uh, I can't find. You can expect me. Then I have a card to find. You got it. Oh, and hey, listen. I got good news for you, you know, Sam's sister Jessica, one of the, my contacts found her for me while you were on your way here. I called her and asked her to meet up at Ube later today, but it helps. Uh, right, John, yeah? The hunter. Yeah? The convict. The pilot. Or the marine. I have no idea what the unique things for each of them are. Just pick one. Doesn't matter what unique they are. I'm just gonna play it. Just pick by name. Well, I figure the marine would be the best equipped for something like that. Done. Because, from what I understand, that game is like a that game is a dungeon delving bullet hell. So you would want basically super soldier X on your team. <laughs> All right, let's get this done. My cousin Gino should be in one of the squads past the door up ahead. I hear there's a whole lab set up there, from my experience, there's usually a lookout watching the cop for cops outside, and a guard at the door inside. Like I said, don't know how much firepower to expect with these guys nasty, so stay on guard, I just want to get in, grab Gino, and get out. Okay. Okay, this guy, oh, this guy's the, uh, guard isn't he? Uh, okay, that's an interesting look. It looks twitchy. Hey, flip tables, this is great. <laughs> well, isn't that uh, one way that most, uh, I guess, westerns defend from bu uh, from uh, gunfire? Just flip the table and hide behind it, even though the table is not bulletproof. Uh, get there for a trip, ain't it? This guy's a clocker, trades work time for chips. Part salesman, part lookout, probably has a single device for the guys inside. Can go for a ride? You can forget you're a heifer for a while. Uh, okay, what it's gonna go on? Got it all, all of it. Got it all. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want to do some crime, you want to be bad, you can just pick you up, don't roll that way, you want to be a hero, be a hero, got you know, fairy tale Jack Chummer's love, you name it. Okay, he's basically just describing, uh, yeah, maybe for the right price, you can feel it, that, what it's like to die, what it's like to kill. Uh, how do I get in? It's a lab, these test these stuff here, the hottest drug, you can place a special order and they'll make it happen. You can pass her from the eye of the door, it'll get you in and out anytime you want. Then you buy a beetle and slot right there, your guys guard, your guys guard you while you're chipping, safest way, to the safest way. Uh... 
Newcomer. Oh yeah, better than life. Okay, yeah, he's just super trying to sell it. Yeah, yeah this place promised you a lot. Alright. Uh, who's that? Concerned woman. Okay, what about you? Uh, woman's probably in her thirties, but by the times I've aged her. Uh, don't do it, friend. Don't sell that like they're selling. Details are killers. You sound like you know from experience. I do. I lost my husband, lost my son, my daughter. They used her to record. Ooh. Okay, I get the thing I get what she's referring to. Got a pea shooter. Do you have a passcode to get in there? No, but Jamal has my son's card to get off him. Took it off him when his brain fried. Jamal's down the hall. Don't know if he'd give it up, but there's between you and him. My kid named Gino. Know him? Who doesn't? He's here all the time. Gino's a clocker. Trades his time for chips. Like the little in errand boy. I saw him go in there this morning. He has to come out, so I imagine he's writing a dream chip. And he, uh, got what sort of guards? First backed by the Yakuza. Okay then! This Mafia, oh man. How many and what kind of firepower? The guy on the door, Charlie. He sells the passes to get in. He's not tough, blind in one eye. There's another five or so wandering around. Two of them are bad news covered in magic symbols. I mean, number six, that's not bad. We have spies on our side. And it up all day, all night, and uh, they can be dangerous too. Once, uh, um, once someone's chipped, they send them any program they want, make them do whatever, turn them into whores, killers, anything. Okay then! That ain't good. Can I go through this door? No. That's not... Oh, hello. Jamal. Uh... What you looking at, half man? Oh God, really? The the five E gr uh, D and D group they decided then to name one of the one of the guys that they got from a wish half man. Uh, whatever. I heard you have a pass card. Uh, yeah, heard right. I got a few, sell them at a discount. Charlie charges 15, but get you three for 100. Uh, I was thinking 75. I was thinking squat off. <laughs> eh, just walk away. I'll just try to get a discount on something that I'm just going to use to shoot him up, but whatever. Let's see about Charlie. Charlie's an orc with an expression of boredom and one milky eye. Drone through standard pattern. I need a pass, 15 yuan each. Uh, oh, I want a sucker punch him in his blind eye. It's fine. Oh. Oh, damn! Okay, so I basically just fucked myself right there. Whatever. Uh, hang on, let me... I get the feeling that this is going to end badly. Save game. Save. This is like playing fucking... What's that game? Uh, hmm? When I'm playing, it's play, like playing that uh, Super Mario Royale. Eh. Just with less uh, idiot players and more actually yeah. semi confident, competent uh, enemies. Okay, I'm just gonna sucker punch this guy in his blind eye.
Oh, oh okay. He, I just. Damn, I died. Mm. In the, in the thing. Sorry. Mm. Semi fast. That sucks. Oh, really? You fucking idiot. Bring your bats to a gunfight. You never bring a knife to a gunfight, you dumbass. Oh, you got a shotgun. Can't die here, I know it. <laughs> How the hell do you miss point blank? <laughs> Alrighty then. Or I walked right up to. Ah. Pick up a worn mangled notebook. It smells of sweat and alcohol. Look through the notebook. Get it to the list of legal sim um, Simpsons rights and the name of clients who purchased them. See interesting BTL names. The rhythm life rights. Uh, I can fly. A real life recording such as. Bum killer. Okay then. I I I'm reading that. I'm I'm just uh, thinking about that uh, Mark Parr thing, the crazed butt stabber. <laughs> uh, for interesting client names for the. Uh, get burned alive. Uh, no. Take the notebook. Right. So. Who is hurt? You're hurt? Confirm. You. Okay. I'm the only one who took damage there. That's disappointing. Ugh. the gungeon with a machine gun. Alright. I really need to get a drone for this guy. What? Ooh, okay, this looks like a that this definitely looks like a bad part of the neighborhood. The entire form of the tenement uh, has been given over to a chaos of technology and squalor. The costume a chromed out decor is not with an armed thug, apparently falling sign as they turn towards you. The shotgun thug squeaks in panic. It's the crew that took out CVJ's place. I told you it was only a matter of time. The man with the cybernetic, uh, with the cybernetic comment speaks with a heavily digitized voice. Messed with the wrong BTL lab a hole. This is a Yakuza operation. With a push of a button, I can make these tweakers into my own personal puppets. You're fragged. Son, don't attack any of the chip heads. They don't know what they're doing, and you get her Gino. My run, my rules. I have a concussion grenade better than fragging the tweakers if they get caught in the middle. Okay. So basically just attack these two guys. Fuck you, Bull Bill. Everything I can in this game. Alright. I'm going to my own green area now. Hmm. We will 
more faster, good. Alright, I'm gonna have to put you right there. Oh, and chip head dwarf, chip head, chip head. Oh, that's an operator. That's it. Oh, rip. Oh, I'm not surprised. Ow. Wait, are you also. Oh. Okay, 50%. That? Oh, okay, that did not deal that much damage to you. Yeah, how do I use the. Oh. Oh, I died. Fuck me. Hmm. How do I use that? Damn. Why? Ah! Why am I trying to use a shotgun at long range? Oh, the gungeon resets when you start over. Yeah. It doesn't make the same path as before. Mm. Pretty dope. <laughs> dope. Oh shit! One of them's a summoner. I just got out the bazooka. Her. Eat me, bitch. Maybe if I start over again, I get some good. Oh, sh Shotgun. Oh, wait, never mind. Frick. Okay, there's... Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Okay. Uh, load last save. Let's see. How long ago is my last save? Not that far by the looks of it. Alright. Oh. Hey, man. Come on, fellas. Okay, there we go. Let's take a punch him. Alright, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, really? That does not work so well. And now I'm in the middle of them. <laughs> uh, damage is it. Why would I use... Whatever. Sweet. I think I only took minimal damage there. Oh, I didn't even take damage. Damn, that's a lot better. Uh, pistol and rocket launcher. This is fucking great. Alrighty then. You ran into here. And you still don't want to talk to me. Okay, yeah, screw you too. Alright, 
good save here, now that I basically have the perfect run. Or... Not save... Oh, here we go. Right, let's see. Again. Cyberware... I pissed off the shop guy by shooting guns in his house. Well, yeah, that would... Oh. <laughs> uh, came in. No, he just got pissed and walked around with sore. Hmm. Well, if the game's anything like Splunky, you've basically made an, en an enemy of all merchants now. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, right, I want her. What do I need? <laughs> What the fuck was that? It's a bird with a gun. It's a bird with a minigun, are you serious? <laughs> the first boss, buff bird with minigun. Yep. Gatling goal. <laughs> Fire after. I'm gonna die here. Yeah, I died. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Uh, okay. Put her here. Oh, really? <laughs> you you just did the same thing I did before I died last time, you freaking idiots. Yeah, buddy. Let's just use the shotgun at long range. Yeah, that 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 that'll like that'll like totally work. Yeah. Is that how it always works. <laughs> Only if it's a freaking slug shotgun. Head. <laughs> okay. God, this game is tough. I had to swap side about it early because it's getting really annoying. <laughs> Oh, okay, we got more people incoming. Oh, ooh, okay. Okay, go north. Oh shit! Her? I walked into a room and there's like seven guys. <laughs> Dead, dying again. Check it. Alrighty then. I'm starting over. Don't blame you. For the different character. In the breach. Oh, really? You, you... Okay, fucking work. Give me. The Marine has like armor. Walkie talkie and you know, where is Hunter? Hmm. Yeah. He's the Hunter and the Breach in terms of the pet. Not ready. I think it's a shame. Hmm. They're a revolver too. Oh, damn, that deals a lot of damage. Pop you. There we go. And you're gone. Oh, god damn it, I have someone. Oh, never mind. That's just to move. Okay, I really should heal. Honestly, from what I've and seen of Enter the Gungeon, it's one of those you play, you die, you 
try again. You die again. Yeah, I get that. I'm doing some updates on it real quick. I'm opening some more things. Alright. Uh, Adding wait, Oh, wait, what? Oh, shit. I can't have a single one. Ah, that's annoying. Can't have a single person die there. In other words, the guy that's just using the console should not be my main priority. I'll try this again. You need to make a way to heal, rather than just, you know, shooting things. Yeah. Okay, there we go, that's one down. Oh, seriously. Jesus fucking Christ! Huh? Which did you was on? Get him in here and we just started value, I'm getting pissed at this game. <laughs> Hmm. That like, bad. I've died like eight times now. Well, that's annoying. Wait, what? Hmm. Okay then. Again, I'm shutting off and going to something else. Yeah, don't blame you. I've only been for 26 minutes. I died eight times. Mm. Move over here. Wait, why do, why do I not have a grenade? Oh shit. Uh, HP. If I died again, we're shopping games. Yeah. It's off the left. Okay, you, you suck at punching things. That's good to know. And you suck at throwing things. Wait, what? 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 Can I just dodge them and take this directly? No, I can't. Shit. Well, I'm basically dead in here. Yep, go figure. Okay. Wait, I I'm sleeping? Oh, shit. Shit. Died eight times in 30 minutes and entered the gun gym. Mm. Swapping to animal crossing. Mm. 
Yeah, don't blame you. <laughs> Ooh, good thing that missed. Cool. How oh, we gotta get that guy, don't we? I retweeted it. Or right. That was bullshit. Is this guy a chip head or a... Yeah, it's a chip head. Why do I have grenades? Ah! Oh, for shit. Non lethal. Oh, okay. Confirm, reload. We're just transforming, kind of fucked it all up. Hmm. I don't think that would work. Move over here then. Okay, cool. I mean, we're gonna schedule tomorrow for my next week, and when next week, I'm gonna take out and the gunjin also. So All right. Crossing else in there. Her. Just as I want. Wait. Oh wait. You're sleeping. Okay. I guess I can just take. Oh, they're all. Oh. Okay. Wait, who the hell are you? Okay, sorry about that. Um, optional objective, I think that said it. Uh, yeah, completed. Gino. Oh, there you are. Uh, oh, yep, you definitely look a bit roughed up. You check the BTL Gino has been riding. He gasped suddenly and his eyes flutter open. He looks confused, worse than the other chip heads you've seen. His lips are wide and chapped, his eyes sunk into his head. There's vomit on his shirt and sweat on his forehead when he speaks his words are slurred. He's burnt. <laughs> Holy shit, did you just read that? Oh my god. What? There's vomit on his shirt, knees sweet, palms are sweaty, vomit on his shirt, mom's spaghetti. It's basically what you just served us. Oh. No. That is not what I read, but... Okay, okay that's... I thought when you were reading oh, this. Oh, um... on his shirt. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Slug me out. Who freaking slug me out? Yeah, it's me, it's Clara. Oh, okay, so her real name is Clara. Uh, slot me back in. God damn it, this is bullshit. I don't want to be here anymore. Wow, he really is gone. Okay. Zoom pack, this stops him. You don't know. Try to be careful. Try to grasp him. He starts back with his shirt and pulls out a gun. Kind of watches him. And with tears in her eyes, you know, waves around, blink, uh, blinking wildly. Uh, ooh. Your brain burnt, you know. I know. Oh, I gotta slide back in. Get away from me. Uh, I don't dream, but something else can be great. Yeah, my shoes are ready. Uh, uh, look at yourself, you know. It isn't better than life. It's sinking your life. You're wasting away. Uh, this thing has grown its corner of the room when Clemson is on reflection of the machinery. Uh, can I shut something back to the uh, trigger? There's a pop or a gunshot, and he's gone. Uh, 
stopping, but no, not ever. A real, a real rain is coming to Seattle, and I'm gonna wash the scum off the streets. It's gonna be in every motherfucking freaking BTO shop in the okay, a and sec go. Sixty second break. All right. All right. Okay, I think I just made Coyote uh, even more bloodthirsty. Lovely. <sighs> Since then, it's the best thing you've gotten to my rippers, but I found some more support in case the drag hits the fan. Uh, for example, finding what this level and deals broke her. Okay. Uh, Get Mr. Fixer, Mr. Dally about hiring runners. Uh, okay, seriously, every time I read Cherry Bomb, I think of the uh, Angel Dust, Angel Dust's friend in the Hasbun Hotel. Uh, there's a woman looking for you, Jessica. Something has been waiting for you by the stage. I love type. Wouldn't order anything, won't touch anything. I think she's afraid of disease or something. Trying to shimmer, so it's worth so empty. You get much action in early afternoon, just a few salarymen, slumming to us and help to helping to talk to Madame Sinful and some die hard regulars. That's what the downtown folks call Mr. Kubuta uh, Kubuta. It's a terrestrial thing. They like her to have a naughty name like that. Okay then. Is this guy still bothering you? You mean my ex Shane? Yeah. No, he hasn't been around since last time. No calls or pages or handwritten notes either. Where he was so persistent, I guess he finally got the message. Maybe he'll find someone on the unit on that universe brotherhood uh, of his and settle down. Look around. Uh, Okay. Oh, she looks fancy. Yeah. Uh, Miss Watts, Miss Watts. And you are. I'm uh, looking here, but Sam's deaf. Uh, Sam. Uh, my friend. Uh. I'm back. Welcome back. My friend called me son. I'm. Uh, what? 40 seconds remaining. Hmm. Uh, to find a little trouble in the shadows. Almost got my cheese stick. Uh, friendship is to find a little differently in the shadows. That's what it would have to be. So you're the one I was told on, about on the phone. We called herself Coyote. Contact me this morning to inform me that my brother was dead. That I should come to this place and speak to someone about an investigation. Uh, I'm hoping you can help me get bothered with this. I don't know what use I'll be. You know, it's a place, are you? Uh, I'm getting that a lot lately, but no. <laughs> uh, just kind of thing with this. I'll be honest, I would just soon put this all behind me in the first place if it goes through proper opera channels. If there's an official police investigation going on, why not let the professionals handle this? Uh, I am a professional. Is there a yeah, what? She's, uh, she's saying, why not let a professional handle this? And I'm just saying, I am a professional. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> I'm professional. Uh, you must have rather to do your time searching for whoever killed my little life brother. Uh, something for free. Just gonna pay a few things there. Okay, yeah, that's what I gotta. That's the only response I gotta go with. First, he was a friend. Uh, he was a friend. Second, I'm being paid for this. <laughs> so it's paying you. I find that hard to believe that anyone who really needs someone would put up the money. Lose it. Uh, he hired me from beyond the grave. <laughs> Got a dead man switch and trigger his dad. Uh, he's up all up for his death in a contingency. 
Let it believe that my drunken thought of a brother hired you to find the person who killed him after he died. I must fail to get away from Sam and his bullshit non back. He's dead and I still have to deal with him. <laughs> That's my son, you seem like a decent person, but I'm trying to move on with my life. My mother killed herself last year, and Sam... Well, Sam was Sam, you know? I'm more, I've worked so hard to put my family issues behind me. I don't want to see this drag on. Uh... I'll try and quickly. There's that, but I, but I think I'd prefer you just let it be. No one else needs to get hurt. There's something to the end. My brother had my back when I needed him. I can't walk away from this. You're talking about the same Sam. My brother was the worthless... Was worthless. Worthless. <laughs> and he used people. He... <sighs> Never mind. I see... I can see that you're not going to let this go. And I expect that you're honoring my brother's memory. In any... In your own way. But, uh, but I can... But I hope you can understand how emotional this is for me. Maybe we can do things in a way that police can't, and maybe I can help. But he's uh, when was the last time we spoke to him? It's been ages, I can't remember. Uh, I remember the sister. I don't know, I wrote many such notes in the beginning, but I haven't made such an effort in a long time. So I don't know why he would have kept it. I never saw my day. Her? Oh, the time on this is not right. So oh. Sick. Said it. Yeah, get on. Uh, I'm gonna murder. I'll overlook the impregnated organization and tell you that I was in. I was in all evening a very crowded fundraiser. Uh, any enemies? Sam's big enemy was Sam. I don't know of any others. You would likely know better than me these days. <laughs> Uh, I haven't had that since close, but uh, I think you've made the feeling sound pretty clear, don't you? <laughs> yeah, sounds like, uh, like you hated him. I suppose I came to hate him, yes, but that's largely why I left. Uh, where do you find this? Sam Bunk, I can't believe he kept this. Uh, uh, it's one of the few possessions he had. Uh, what happened between the two of you? They were different back then. They were different. We were family. Then after our father died, things began to change, and we couldn't get back to the new uh, to the new normal. With our dad around, there was always a reassuring order to our lives. But after everything got, everything got mixed up, I can I can never really appreciate them. You can never really appreciate the influence of a person in your life until they're gone. Sam tried to be the man of the house, he truly did, but he couldn't handle it, and pretty soon he had spent every dime of our father's life insurance, every dime after that was gone. With mom working two, three jobs, he spent her money too, and then the way he abused her trust, so finally I just had to leave. Uh... It's evidence. There we go. Uh, where, where were you living before you moved back here? I don't remember whether I her death. She was a devout Catholic. I don't think in exaggeration to say that she sacrificed her life for Sam and me. But she turned a blind eye to what Sam was becoming, refused to acknowledge his downward slide. I couldn't watch her do it anymore, so I moved out. After I left, we drifted farther and further apart. I wasn't here when she died, in fact. I don't even know uh, about it until I returned to Seattle, Seattle five months ago. Uh, where were you living before you moved back here? Calfrey. Okay, I'm assuming that's like this world's version of California. Uh, what brought you down here? It's less of what brought me down, uh, what brought me there, than what made me leave here. I felt lost in Seattle, so I moved... Oh, yep, okay. So I moved to California to see if I could find, uh, myself. Okay, so Calfrey is California. Alrighty then. 
Oh, yes, when I was there, I developed a whole new outlook on life, a vision that, that would keep, that could become, and I came back here to help make it happen. Uh, I've taken out to figure time this as well. I need to get back to the office. But before I go, you should know that I'm retaining my mother's body tomorrow, and I'm arranging to have Sam buried with her. The funeral is tomorrow at Our Lady, the Blessed Sacrament, 7 o'clock. You're more than welcome to attend. Uh, thank you. This time, I hope you know what you're looking for. Stay safe. Okay, then. I just realized that this bearskin rug is a massive tripping hazard because the freaking head is in the middle of the doorway. Alright. Gonna speak with this guy and then switch games. Yeah. What? I'm going to speak with this guy and then switch games to something a little less uh, storyline intensive. <laughs> I don't think I've stopped talking for the last uh, hour 15. <laughs> yeah. If you're talking to me, you have business transactions, of course. Uh, good job to be right. Uh, of course, you're right. It's your job to be right. <laughs> This is correct. You're a smart guy. What can I do? <laughs> what can I do for you, smart guy? <laughs> well, I don't know if he's being sarcastic or I just brown nose the fuck out of him. I need to put a crew together. I you plan to pay me out of your earnings. Uh, of what I earn. Screw you. I don't speculate. Okay, so I'll pay the runners up front. This won't be grand terms. I've got some runners on call if you got any special requests. Uh, get some stuff to... Eh, yeah, let's get... Let's head out. Oh, sh... Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Uh... Steven Adept. Dwarf Adept. Oh, you look cool. Don't worry. You look like the human version of Morgana from League of Legends. Uh, okay, so I'm a gunner. She is a... What are you again? I think she's a shaman. Cool, rigorous. Ooh, samurai. Okay, I just had brain farts. Uh, I see outfit, this. Weapons, this. I see spells, nothing under this. So the first thing my brain goes is spell, knife, and gun. <laughs> Dwarf shaman, orc shaman. Rigor, mage, decker, decker, adept, adept. Hmm. Ooh. The Flim Network. What is this? Oh, you look like someone who can handle themselves in a fight? No, you're not. You have a... I think... Wait, really? My, stre my strength is one. Really? Oh, my body is for Okay, never mind. I'm... Never mind! He can definitely bull rush just about anything that comes against us. Boop. Burnt out mage. Oh, hey, look. We got Cyclops from the X-Men. Combat rigor. Cyber. Warrior. Initiate. Support mage. Let's see. Get inventory. Ooh, healer! Yes! That'll definitely, that'll definitely do. Okay. I should have gotten a drone, but whatever. <sighs> Let's see. And I think I started up a fight. Two thousand two hundred bells for a floor light. You think I should do it? For a floor light? 
I, I yeah. guess if it fits your, I guess if it fits what you're working on. No, I was just asking. It's two thousand two hundred worth it for one of those, based off the real world. Built into the. I mean, hmm. Buy like six of them and put three and three down the path in my house. Hmm. I was like, uh, is it really worth it? Real world money, I I wouldn't really think so because you can just use a lamp. But I guess it depends on what you're going for. True. I might do it. Oh, Harper. Three rounds. Frag grenade. Let's remove that. Let's add the heal. Let's give her a focus. Oh wow. Okay. Huh. Okay. You know. You know what? You. You look sort of cool. I mean, I can't say much for the face paint, but the coat looks pretty decent, despite the cuphead uh, face on the back of it. Oh. Oh, you look weird. You look low poly, even by this game's standards. Hell, you look low poly even by Super Mario 64 standards. <laughs> okay. Let's start that up. I should have grabbed a, dr a drone while I was doing this. Whatever. I can test them out later. Uh... Body. SMG shotgun rifle. Is thrown weapon also? Oh, okay. So strength, while good for me, if I wanted to be close combat, which a dwarf sort of seems like it would be decent for. Uh, I I like SMG. I like SMGs. Uh, 13 karma. Then, just can't say anything. Yeah, get a good... Okay, let's... Up... Let's up the intelligence. Let's press the drone. Oh, okay, so drone can... Okay, I think I see. Drone armor, drone accuracy... I really shouldn't have put anything into this, but whatever. Okay, what about SMG? No, I don't have that. Okay. Rifle. There we go. That should be good. But time we showed up, looks like we weren't on the only ones who wanted to take advantage of the situation. A bunch of mercs have locked down the area. I don't think they're here for us, though. The guess says there's something worth a bit of coin left in the warehouse. Uh, any chance we can sneak past? Probably not, they've been doing regular patrols around the perimeter, and the front door looks like it's locked. Oh, joy. Oh, no, the front door's not locked! It's been ripped off the frickin' hinges! Okay, I'm gonna save here. Yeah. Ten... what? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, I should know better than this already. Alright, get in the recording and switch over to something else.